they both have a front row seat. The Toledo show. Taking the high line, you see the wind up, the coil as Toledo hunting the section, finds it, goes to the air. Oh, a massive goodness. backside. <laughs> Are you fully rotated? Five points. Upside down, let's have a look at it. See if we can slow it down mid maneuver here. As he comes off the bottom, look at that, upside down with a little bit of a tweak to it. And he's uh, looking at the judges going, well, what else do I have to do? Flies down the line, you can see that foot starting to get further and further back. Now he hits it. Perfect positioning right there, double grab. Upside down flip, five, perfect. Let's get a look at it. I'm gonna see this a hundred times. Kept that flow up, nice high line floater. Look how clean his rails are, bing! That was a oh giant punt right there. What about this claim? Yes! Before we crunch the numbers, we'll lock on to Philippe Toledo, who's going max speed here. And wow, he's gonna bring that to the table! Are you kidding me? Everyone is out of this. Uh, finishing off with a little cheeky shove it on the inside. Let's take another look. Yeah, let's have a look as he drives down the line, widens his stance, connects perfectly. Absolutely perfect rotation, landing clean in transition and straight into a couple of massive turns. Idlo Ferreira, you are an absolute legend. Look at that, gives himself a clap, says come on, and then into a little pop shove it, ride switch foot. I mean, what else do you want to do on that wave? You could not have done any more underneath the priority time. Toledo without priority will grab this wave. Comes off the bottom, layback hammer. Deep off the bottom again, he floats it. Coming around the corner, driving through a huge carbon tail release. He pulls it off. Straight up, Verdon ditches the fins. Toledo blows the tail into reverse. Can we give that a seven? We saw him just feeling his way down the line. Now Toledo, nice, lively climb down the beach. Throw tail, nose pick, reverse in transition. Now looking to close it out. A full rotation, tail high punt. Toledo wants more. Nice float, he'll cover some ground. Another climbing maneuver. Toledo is sending a message straight to Ferreira. More waves on the way, pause with priorities. The world champ, John John Florence, G bottom turn, way back high. Right in front of the oncoming section. Now just stretching it out, wait for a second, then over a big down car wrap with the extension. He's got some room to slowly emerge out in front, he'll lay low. He wants this thing to just open wide up, standing tall in the pit. Florence has some room to move. <laughs> now finishing with a big layback dagger in the closing. In the first heat of the morning, Kelly Slater in the white jersey from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Pulling into this first section, no hands on the rail. The wave's going to spit, he oh. pops out. He makes it. Have a look at this. A solid one for Medina. The bottom drops out. He is in an absolute cave. He gets blown out, and that felt amazing for the former world champ. And it looks like Otz, he finds a second wave way behind. Lots of distance. Can he make his way through? A clean exit for Kai Otz. Almost starting off with a huge score. We'll continue this exchange, packing a super deep one. At Pipeline and coming out is Sebastian Zietz. Oh my. Hopefully we'll get him on the show. Just don't care. I like to hear late takeoff and wow. dropping in and driving. One of the best in the business. Pulling off the heroics. Oh boy. Look how deep he is. And then he pumps up into this super high. I mean, unbelievable backside girl. Right there. And, you know, that's what happens when you've grown up in front of Pipeline. And Kelly is going on the next one. Big free fall. He grabs his rail. with Nathan Hedge starting to dig in. Only has a 3-6, looks down the ledge, air drops, stops it. Oh my goodness. Wide open pit for Hedge. <laughs> Arms to the sky and he flies. Totering back into position. He's got priority again. Lining up another one here, looking at back door. 
This is a big wave. He's locked in. He should come through this one. Here he comes. Oh my Medina, God. the hands go up. And the good. Just quick to eye off the right. Was well positioned here for this backdoor jam. There's no goofy footer that has done that this entire event. He chased this right down. Most goofy footers have left itis. They're looking at Kelly did that crazy late drop. Pretty amazing. That was probably one thing that's happened out there that stands out when he was, everyone thought he was kind of beaten by Bruce in that heat and he just did that crazy turnaround. That's probably one of the coolest things I've seen out there. 3.67, CJ Hogger down the back, has a set and takes a clean run through the pit. But just, oh my goodness. And here he is. Speak of up. And he goes in wall. He's gonna seek a barrel of his own. Wall one barrel. barrel. And he's threading through that other section. Wow. He and wall. Well, there you go. You have to give that a 10 point ride. It's already been a shot. You're gonna get up in excellent range unless you're on there. Look at right here, it's starting off small. John Hill's gonna sneak through this thing. Watch him come out, fade and get into this sandbar thing. Oh, another bit. Look at this wave. This is what he was looking for this morning. Talking about those double barrel waves and such a great wave. <laughs> Amazing surfers to watch of all time. While we were away, Potts Kelly got a crazy one to get blown out into the channel. Well, I tell you what, he's not done yet. Have a look at this. Are you kidding me? Talk about backing up that 9.77. It's just a, a demonstration of the power and punch that this wave has. As we see Griffin taking off here. Beautiful looking section. This wave's starting to reel off. Gets the exit. And goes driving down the line for more. This is a thick section. Oh, he He's locked hits. in. Uh -oh, and out uh -oh. he comes. Uh -oh. <laughs> Griffin Golopinto's going to get more one? on the inside. Oh. Yes. Unbelievable! That was sick. Unbelievable start for the rookie. Those are big years, Bart Lynch. Sure are. Great to have him on the commentary team. As we see Sebastian Zietz locked in so deep. Oh, 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 he's, he's still there! He's, he's still there! there. Going. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh! Pete Mel's got 10. Sorry.